Hey guys, this reviews more back with another cook kitchen item review. This is the Ninja cooking system. So I think Ninja actually produces several versions of this. This is, I guess, the middle or higher end, the price range on this, like from Best Buy for $149. We got it marked down about 90 bucks on a big sale with a coupon from Bed Bath & Beyond. But you can find, I think, some refurbed ones of these for about 60 some odd dollars. But there's brand new ones at Best Buy for like $150 based on what I'm looking at as of making this video. The item number on this model number is CS960 because there are several different iterations of this and I'll have that in the title. Um, this item comes with several little accoutrements to it. It's got the main basin. It's um, kind of like, imagine a rice cooker and a crock pot had a baby. And it's basically, that's what it is. So it does not use a big ceramic crock. It uses a basin made of what appears to be aluminum with um, some non-stick material on it, which I assume is going to be Teflon. Although it doesn't really say, it just says non-stick surface. And it is all push button the front. All Everything's toggleable. So it's not a single switch item. This is a very... I guess complex crock potty four in one kind of thing. So the four in one is um, not misleading, but it is. It's, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It has a stove top mode, a slow cook mode, a infusion mode, which I think is basically a way to say it makes broth hot and you can put and you can, you can infuse it. Um, roasting rack, glass lid, recipe book, steaming basket, as well, and finally the actual ninja basin thing itself. So um, only all you're going to see me do in this is basically unbox it as well as cook one meal in it. Um, we wanted to make sure we tried out the Auto IQ, which is their proprietarily named thing for essentially what amounts to a uh, pre-setting within the device itself. You turn the little knob, on, you hit a button, turn a knob, hits a recipe number, and then it goes from there. You don't touch the thing after that. It's a slow cooker as well as a fast cooker. You can make something quick, slow. You can make frittatas. You can do everything. It's it's a nice little cooker set. It's perfect for somebody who doesn't have a kitchen with a full stove. It's also great for someone who cooks a lot and has their stove occupied. So it gives you it basically frees up space for things that are cooked more slowly, so you have more versatility in your kitchen. So it's it's got, it's got a good bit of versatility to it. So this is just some uh, sweet sweet uh, chili, uh, really stir fry sweet chili fast cook basically it was done about 30 minutes i will say this my biggest complaint with regard to this item is the power cord it is stupidly short you can never take this thing to a potluck that where you have to keep it warm because you wouldn't necessarily be near an outlet so you got that issue the other issue i have with it is the lid has no way of securing you can buy a bag for it but for the price point i feel like the bag should have been included if that was the case but the bag's not included and there's some other little accessories that do not come included um starting the, the meal up you'll see here there's all the little buttons you would press whatever button the recipe book tells you to which in this case was the quick meals you then turn the knob to the proper uh, designation for the recipe number which is in the book as well there's i think there's some recipes online as well and from that point on it's done you just press start and you walk away but you must follow the recipe exactly if you double it up it does not really test the weight so it's not like it's trying to figure out how much water it doesn't do anything automatically so here you'll see a bunch of extra boiling water that's because i made the recipe one and a half times which meant there was more liquid from the chicken that was in there which meant it had to have a longer cook time so if you go just by the recipe alone you'll be okay but if you try to add it multiply it by a certain number it won't work out for you overall it's a great little item for the price of it. It gives you the stovetop searing option. It's got some versatility to it. It feels very high quality. And overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's just the cord's very, very short. So just keep that in mind. So you might have to have an extension piece or make sure it's only near an outlet. So if you have an island top or you're putting this thing, make sure there's an outlet on the island. Otherwise, you are going to have issues with cords tripping, tripping all over cords. But the biggest thing for me was probably the cord length. That's just that's just the biggest why skimp there on that. Put a little thing on the bottom to wrap the cord around, do something different. Um, this is the only recipe I've tried so far as making this video. I'm going to try the frittata recipe because that looks interesting. Um, the the cleaning on it's very very easy. The non-stick is very non-stick. It cleans right up very fast. All the liquid that goes in there beads up like it's on a freshly cleaned uh, glass windshield. Just beads right up rolls right off of it so it's very non-stick if you're not a fan of teflon that's what they use so you're not really able to do much so make sure you, every utensil you put in there is plastic or silicone or some or, or rubber that we don't worry about damaging it other than that 
it's a good buy. Um, I'd make sure you look for it on sale because these things go on sale all the time. I wouldn't pay full price for it. If it were 150 I probably wouldn't have bought it. But for the 90 bucks for Ninja, and we have other Ninja products, I think it was worthwhile. But overall, I'm, I'm happy with the purchase. It's not the be-all and end-all, but it does a great job cooking. And it has some versatility beyond just being a slow cooker. So you can ha you don't have to wait on your food. You can also just cook there quickly and not have so much cleanup and not have to worry about wiping down an entire countertop or a stovetop. Do a splatter or anything else. That's kind of nice. So it's a good convenience item. And that's my overall review. Good. But don't pay more than 100 bucks for it. They go on sale too often. Have a great day.